TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Let's roll for bread. Three, 12 grain. And 11 grains were given to the race of men, but they were all of them deceived, for another grain was made. Let's roll for main. 11, roll 2d12. All right, here we go, rolling for oh our double main. Two Vienna sausage and seven Serrano ham. Vienna sausage in the US typically refers to these canned processed so uh, oh. Ew. Ugh. Ew. Uh, anyway, they're they're like hot Ew. dogs, but softer. They kind of have a similar flavor to hot dogs mixed with Spam. And then on the complete other end of the spectrum, we that have the looks Serrano so ham. Good. Dry aged for a year to eight. Serrano ham. I'm looking it up. There's no way they don't have it. Well, we'll continue months on. Imported I'm sad from now. Spain. Oh, the irony. Let's roll for our cheese. Five goat gouda with nettles. This gouda or howda is infused with nettles, which gives it an herbaceous what's an, flavor. What's I'm not nettles? sure if the nettles are merely for flavor or if they help with the aging process. There is precedent for that with cheeses like Cornish Yarg that are aged wrapped in nettles. Either way, it makes for a tasty cheese and something a little different today. Next, let's Spiky roll for boys? Anyway, spiky voice. Four asparagus and ten tomato. Well, we try really hard here at Roll for Sandwich not to waste anything. So our offering today is this Roma tomato that's a little bit on the edge. It'll taste just fine, though. Further keeping with that theme of not wasting anything, our asparagus today is leftover charbroiled asparagus that we made a few nights ago. Cooked. I like uh, I like roasted asparagus, but that looks like in oil, lemon, and spices. Happy watery and kind of. All right, it's chaos know. time. Roll for wild magic. Eight spruce tip salt. Does your salt taste too much like rocks and not enough like trees? Have you ever thought, man, I wish I had the powdered essence of those dangly car air fresheners? Well, try spruce tip salt today. Asparagus is gross. Listen, <clears throat> take asparagus, put it on a tinfoil sheet, put your oven to like 400, put a little olive oil, a little salt, and then just roast the f out of them. It's pretty good. No, but it also- I say pretty good, I mean, it's okay. Seriousness, it's pretty tasty. Just like add some nice floral notes know, to salt. You'll be able to deal Last with it. Last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. Seven sriracha. Yeah, but if you're wrapping it in bacon, then at what point, why are you even eating asparagus? You know what I mean? Like, if you're eating the asparagus, I feel it's like, because you're trying to like, you know, you're not trying to be, you're trying to like have something that's decent. So like, you know. Ketchup. Well, my ketchup exposure therapy doesn't seem to be working so far. I will say that this one is better than the whole. Oh no! Ketchup. Close up our sandwich here. Sriracha ketchup is actually kind of fire though. Together and let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. That doesn't look too bad. All right. Well, all right. I don't have a lot Not, of predictions with this one. It's I think we're just gonna right, have to dive in here. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, not. Not amazing. I can generally take or leave asparagus. The Vienna sausages weren't as bad as I was expecting, but this combo all together isn't really doing it for me. It's fairly boring, all things considered, and I think I'm gonna give it a 5.1, and I'm gonna call it the Lackluster Armor. Damn. Thanks for joining me for another week of Roll for Sandwich. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Where is he? Let's go. Today, I'm at Elizabethtown College in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, and I'm joined by Jesse Waters of the Bowers Writer's House and Charlie Carberry of their local D&D club. And hopefully we're gonna make something that isn't My guy's traveling. Six pretzel buns. Pretzel bun, all right. <laughs> With that nice chewy exterior and soft inside, pretzel buns are an S tier sandwich bread. Let's roll. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not big on the on the pretzel buns, but for me, it's for the six months. Appreciate it. Six. Roast beef. Roast beef. All right. Definitely starting off. God, you guys know the story of my roast beef, right? My mom f came over one day, rearranges my whole fridge, and uh, I had just bought some new deli meats. Had some roast beef that was, you know, it was probably getting close to throwing it out soon. But my mom put them all in the door of the fridge, and I don't keep my shit like there. But I was like, all right, whatever. I'm not going to rearrange my whole fridge again. It's fine. Whatever. I'll just put things back as, like, I get them. And then my fridge started to smell like absolute shit. And I cleaned the whole thing out, like, four times. Couldn't figure it out. You know what it was? It was underneath the 
good deli meats. It was the old, rotting, smelly roast beef. It was all wet. It strong with this one was but of not, course I was there's not still many ways the sandwich can go sideways i was not happy <laughs> it was underneath like the you know like other stuff that was i knew was fresh i'm like it's not that it's no way like it's brand new Cheese <laughs> oh no Sorry, Charlie, but you definitely tempted fate there. Oh, no. Shutter so far. Let's no, please, please. please. Asparagus and roll. All right, we're rolling extra roughage. One banana and two roll 2d12. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be a lot on this sandwich. Eight and six. So. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy, well, what can I say about this combination of fruits and vegetables? Well, banana, we've got sweet from the bananas, asparagus. Be a little bit of sweet in the bell pepper, some acid from the tomato, and some tomato. bitterness from the asparagus. I think it's really going to depend oh, on no. our wild magic and sauce. Oh, hell we can pull no. Something cohesive or oh, hell just no. Be fighting each other the whole time. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's roll that wild magic. Please be normal. 13. And that is Oreos. Oreos, <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> Honestly, Charlie, I don't know if it would have been that much better. Our crushed up Oreos here will add a little bit of crunch and yet more sweet. Last but not least, we've got our D20 sauce roll. Five. Hot sauce. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hell no. There are a lot of worse This has got to be one of the most sauce. cursed things I've ever seen. A little seen. bit of balancing acid and heat to maybe take away a little bit of that sweet. We'll find out soon. Oh. Let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Give it a taste. Okay. Why are you reaching for? I would have just pretended, like, just let him do it himself. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very confusing. Honestly, I like it. The banana comes through. I have to agree with Jesse. The banana is very strong on this one, which mixes well with the chocolate, but those two things together are not enough to save this one. That being said, I expected it to be a lot worse. So ultimately, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 4.5. No, this thing had Charles no, no, and, and I mean zero, literally zero right being higher than a zero. 0. 0.1 for a pretzel button, maybe. That's it. I, I, uh uh. To uh -uh. everyone else. Uh uh. No, absolutely not. Okay, next. Indeed, TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using this big, chonky seafoam Thanks, dice Sora. set that was given to me by a viewer at my recent meet and greet. Thanks. Let's get started with yeah, our my guy's doing meet and greets. Five, rye bread. Rye is one of my favorite sandwich breads, especially seeded rye. I really love the added flavor from the I'm not a big rye seeds. guy. Next honest, up, let's roll for okay. our main. It's all right. Five, tuna. Every oh, single no. time I use this tuna, somebody says it's cat food because of the packaging. Fun little fact about me, I used to work at a pet store, and 80% of the cat food we sold came in cans that looked like cans of tuna. Take from that what you will. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Six, Monka. Borson. Borson is a brand of gourmet cheese, which is a soft My mom loves this, cheese, but I never liked it. Similar to cream cheese, so it's a little crumblier than cream cheese. And today I have the shallot and chive variety. It's mild and creamy, and I think it'll actually go pretty good with the tuna fish. My mom was a big fan of this, but I I just don't like we'll it. We get a nice healthy spread over our toasted bread. It's been a while, though. Right so maybe it's I, roughage. I don't think so, though. Yeah, it's Roll whatever. for roughage. Four figs and six red onion. Well, we've already got shallot and chive in the cheese, so what's a little more onion? We'll get a little bit more bite from the raw red onion, but so far, things are gelling like Magellan. As far as the figs go, I have dried figs today. If you've never had a dried you fig... You see the PlayStation game showcase? Wait, is that going right now? They are sweet and have kind of a similar taste to raisins. They're full of very, very small seeds that are just kind of crunchy and add an interesting texture. Oh, it ended it's already? It's common oh. to pair fig with cheese, so I know it'll be good with the Gournay. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. That thing's huge. Extra sauce. We're going to roll 2d20 for sauce. It is time to roll for sauce. It is time to roll for sauce. It is time to roll for sauce. Wait, it's, it's time to the... roll 2d20 for the sauce. Four mayo ketchup and 18 piccalilli. All right, well, if I was going to have to roll a ketchup, at least this ketchup is diluted with mayo. Which, honestly, I don't think will be a terrible combination with the tuna and what we've got so far. 
And piccalilli is nice. It'll add a nice bright mustard flavor and some crunch and some vegetables. So yeah, no complaints there. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold I don't it know together. About this one. And let's get it cut in half. I don't like tuna anyway, so like there's not really let's much go going ahead and for take me a here. Look at that cross section. All right. Interesting. Well, even though we had a ketchup today, I still have hope in this one. Let's give it a taste. Wait, fry sauce exists out of my state? There's no way you think whatever state you live in that fry sauce was like invented there and it's the only the only stop. Shh. Yeah. All right, this is not too bad. The ketchup being both a little sweet and having vinegar, I think bridged the gap between the fig and the kind of tuna salad that we ended up with. And that pickle is pulling a lot of weight, but I'm happy with this one. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.7. And I'm gonna call it the fig opportunity. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day and I will see you. It's a little Friday. higher than I thought. I didn't think it was, I thought it was gonna be like a, like a maybe mid seven at best. Yeah. Hey, TikTok and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using this swirled green set of dice that was sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for our bread. Six croissant. Got this amazing bakery fresh croissant. Going to cut it in half here so we can make it a into a bakery sandwich. Bakery fresh croissant. Oh, it's nice been a while. and flaky and buttery. Fantastic. We are. I might have to hit up a bakery and just get some good bread. Honestly off to a great start. I, think I could call and be like, hey, I want to order like a croissant. I want a couple croissants. I want to order uh, that cherry bread from earlier. Do you think I could do that? All right. Next up, let's roll for our main. Three, pepperoni. This is the dawning of the season of pepperoni. Season of pepperoni. All right, next up, let's roll for our cheese. Three, feta. Yo, I've said it before, but I'll this say it is actually my type of sandwich right now. This shit's going yeah, hard. Everything's better with feta. The I love feta. I love pepperoni. I like croissants. Well with the Dude, spiciness of the pepperoni. This is fire so far. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. Five broccoli and seven avocado. And it just died. This may be controversial, but my favorite way it to just eat died. broccoli is raw. It was going so in its well. Raw state, it has a really good crunch and kind of a it nutty. It was going flavor. so. What we've had well. so far on the sandwich is pretty soft. That crunch is going to be appreciated. Speaking of soft, we're going to add some avocado to the mix. And its creaminess and richness will be a nice cut to the spice of the pepperoni and the salt of the cheese. I mean, avocado pretty much makes anything better. So I'm definitely optimistic about this one. But there is still the wild magic and sauce rolls to contend with. And those are definitely hey, the worst Do you know ones. how to cut an avocado? All right, let's hit it with that wild magic. 14 sesame seeds. All right, nothing wrong with sesame seeds. We'll just add a little uh, bit more I'm not nuttiness. A big sesame, and they sesame pair seed great guy, with avocado but, as know, seen in many right. sushi rolls. Last but not least, we've got the D20 sauce roll. This is already kind of ruined for Nat me, but. The dice gerblin. 13 English mustard. Thanks, Nat. English mustard is much stronger than a lot of the mustards we have typically in America. It has almost horseradish levels of potency. Thanks to the high levels of this chemical that I'm not gonna try to say. I'm a big fan of mustard in just about every form that I've had it in. I try so I'm it. counting this one as a win. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich It could sandwich have been such a good here. sandwich. It actually could have been. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. Looks pretty good to me. Well, it seems like the Friday luck might be with us today. On the surface, this seems like a pretty good sandwich, but let's find out. Let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, Th that is fantastic. Nice buttery croissant, creamy avocado, spicy mustard and pepperoni. It all comes Happy together dance. beautifully. These kind of sandwiches are the reason that I do this. This one's getting a 10 out of 10 today, folks. Wow. And I'm gonna call it the TGIF. Thanks, Gerblin, it's fire. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you live tomorrow. The broccoli I thought was gonna kill Thanks. it, Good but I mean, I guess if you're a fan of it, then I guess it's not that bad. But raw broccoli? Oh, hell no.